Hello. So in this session, we are going to discuss about the concept of a perimeter. Now, in order to understand this, let us just try to understand two scenarios. There is an engineer who wants to build a compound wall around the house. Now, he needs to find out what is going to be the length of the wall because it is the length of the wall that will decide everything else. It decides how much bricks he needs or what are what is the raw material required for building that and on that basis he is going to calculate the cost. But his first starting point has to be the length of the wall. So now how, 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 how can he go about measuring the length of the wall? So what he is going to do is he will just stand at one corner let us say that we denote that corner as A, then he would go to the other corner, we call that as B, he would measure the length of this, then he goes from this corner to the other corner and then let's call this as corner C and then he would be measuring the length of this. Okay, so what he does is he measures length of AB, then when he measures BC, he would be adding BC to that then from C he again travels to this corner so this becomes the other length let us call this as corner D so he is then going to add the third length which is CD and now what he has to do is he has to come back to A that is from D to A and then he adds this so when he goes around the periphery of the house what he gets is the length of the wall now this was one scenario. Another scenario is that there is a farmer who wants to fence his field. Now this is a very common thing. Farmers need to fence their fields so that they they can uh, the, the the cattle may not come in and just try to save the crop from cattle grazing it away. So how much is he needs to find out the length of the wire needed to fence his field, and how does he go about doing that? So what? Again, we can follow the same thing as the engineer followed to find out the length of the wall because he needs to find out the length of the wire and that in that case, the cost will be decided by the length of the wire. So he, let's say he marks a point A. Well, in reality, we don't mark any points, but this is just for the sake of our understanding to make it a bit easier. So he goes from this corner to the other corner, A to B. He measures it and he writes it in his notebook, length AB. Now then from B, he goes to the another corner, straight line, straight, uh, segment. Uh, let's say that we call it C, then he measures this length. And then he would add this in his notebook, that is BC. Then again, he travels from C to D. This point is D and he will just measure this length and add it to the previous two sums then he goes from d to next corner that is e and measures this length so then it becomes de and then he still has to find out the entire length so he travels from e back to the point a where he started the measurement plus ea so what he has done is he started from a went all along the periphery of this field and he came back to a and this is how he got the length of the wire that is required to fence the field. Now this is exactly what we mean by perimeter. It is nothing but the length along the boundary. So now let us try to formally define perimeter. So perimeter is the distance covered along the boundary. This is very important. Distance covered along the boundary forming a closed figure when you go around the figure once or in simple words you can just say that perimeter is nothing but the measurement of boundary of a geometric shape this is just to understand the definition in terms of geometry measurement of boundary of a geometric shape and as you saw in the earlier two examples that perimeter is indeed used a lot in our day-to-day -day lives and because it it helps us to derive so many things for example the engineer he needs to know the length of the compound wall which will in from which he will be able to decide the amount of work and the cost of material the people needed and all those things so that is about perimeter see you in the next session